From July, workers caring for older Australians in their homes will work two-hour minimum shifts. The new rules aim to improve conditions for those workers, but there is concern some elderly patients will be worse off. Hey, Val. Hello. How are you? Two times a day, carers like Jessica visit Not Valerie, bad. who lives on her own with dementia. She needs help with her medication. She can't do that herself. Her meals, she's got dementia. She'll forget. She won't eat. Valerie gets one hour of support in the morning and one in the evening. But a Fair Work Commission ruling in February means that could be about to change. Starting July 1st, there will be a two-hour minimum for shifts of part-time support workers who make up the bulk of the home care workforce. If we have to boost that to two hours, then how can she have those two services? Valerie's home care package barely covers the two one-hour support visits she gets a day now. Aged care providers say some packages will have to be renegotiated. Can we change the service delivery around to accommodate them within their budget? That might mean for some people that they don't get the care they need at the time they really need it. All right, give me one second. At this care provider, staff are already under stress. The owner understands the need to improve conditions for support workers who aren't paid for travel between one-hour visits. But he says two-hour minimum shifts will be a challenge. A caregiver can do potentially up to six visits a day. Now with the introduction of the two-hour minimum engagement, the same caregiver can only have three visits a day. Valerie's granddaughter, Melissa Judd, says she's worried about the coming change. It's going to have such a detrimental effect to the people that rely on these services. Um, and I just don't think people are aware of it. She fears with these rules, residential aged care may be her grandmother's only option. Norman Hermont, ABC News.